Hey, hey, what is up, guys? Um, I am here in Adobe After Effects CS5 to create another tutorial, a video tutorial on how to do some sweet effects. So, I'm Michael Sawchuk, and I'm gonna help you guys out. Notice how I said Michael Sawchuk and not, uh, Boobit97, my YouTube name. I'm gonna try to be a little more professional now, uh, not too professional, but you know, to the point. To the extent where it's a pretty sweet a tutorial video. So, um, yes, I'm in After Effects CS5, and if you haven't read the title, we are doing this fire effect. Um, so here's a preview of it right now. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And um, right off the bat, I'm going to just tell you guys that we are using Trap Code Particular. Oh, particular, that was weird. Um, I'm using V2, Trap Code Particular version 2. And I'm pretty sure you need V2 for this tutorial, for this effect. Um, but if not, uh, then you can yell at me in the comments. I've been sicking your dogs on me, uh, your pet whales and uh, friend Steve. But um, no, don't do that. That'd be kind of mean. But, you know, if I'm wrong, you know what to do. So, um, yeah, uh, version 2 is only available in After Effects CS4 and CS5. That I know for sure. So, if you are in CS3 and below, you might not be able to do this. Um, I shall have a link in the description to a tutorial on how to get Trap Code Particular for free. And if not, once again, you know what to do. So, let's get on with the tutorial. First thing we're going to do is make a new composition. Um, just call it whatever you want. Um, here's my settings. HDV slash A slash HDTV 720 29.97 uh, 12 by 720 widescreen square pixels uh, about 30 frames per second. My resolu resolution will be set at half for the sake of the tutorial. Duration about 10 seconds. Background black. Copy. Okay. Just Okay. Then we're going to go to Layer, New, Solid, uh, make it comp size. We're just going to call this Trap Code. Okay, Trap, whoa, whoa, what did I do? That was horrible. Trap Code. Okay, make sure it's comp size, doesn't matter what color it is. Hit OK. We're going to select this layer, go to Layer, Precompose, um, and then just type in Fire. I'm going to just do Fire 1. Um, all in caps, hit OK. Then we're going to double click on this layer, or Alt double click if you're in CS3 and below. Select the layer, go to Effect, Trap Code, Particular. So I would do some effects now. If you just uh, scroll through the timeline, you'll see just these dots, and those are our particles. And uh, let's just stare at them for a second. Okay, they're pretty beautiful, huh? That's our particle dots. So, um, then we're going to drag in this smoke element JPEG and just drag it to the bottom. And we are also going to pre-compose this. So it's like layer, pre-compose. Okay. And then we'll go into the comp, double click, or alt double click on CS3. And um, it's just this smoke layer, a picture of smoke. And um, I will have a link in the description to download this. Once again, if not, sick your dogs on me. Your friend Steve, pet dolphins, bring it all on. So, um, we're just going to select this layer, hit Effect, King, Color Key. Okay, select the side dropper tool, select the white. And we're going to want to get a bad keyed out effect. So, maybe set this to like uh, 15, maybe. That's pretty good. So, we want it to be bad and grungy and... Not good. So don't feather it, thin it, nothing. Just that's it, okay? So you can you don't even have to use the smoke layer. You can make your own. Just uh, you know, be creative, go crazy. We're gonna exit out this, and then it'll go back to our fire comp. Um, and then we will select the smoke layer and turn it off by hiding the eye. It's gone. It's there. It's gone. Now it's gone. Okay. And then we're gonna go to the particle settings in trap code particular and the trap code layer. Um, we're going to go to the particle type, change it from a spear to a sprite. 
and all the little particles will be gone. Don't cry, they're coming back. We're gonna go to the texture panel and then go to layer and select smoke element jpeg comp. There might be a warning, just hit OK. We're still good. It's gonna render and they're very tiny dots. It's kinda like Star Wars now. Uh so we're gonna make those bigger. We're uh select the size and go about maybe two hundred and ten. No, I'm sorry, that's two thousand ten. Uh, 210 seems good. So just hit enter, and they're going to be big in a second. I promise. There, they're big. They look like little sheep almost, and that's okay. And we're going to select the size randomness and go to about 43. Okay, and now they're just randomer, and they're not all looking exactly the same. And it looks like a big ball of sheep. That's what I'm just saying. But, um, so that's looking good. That's what we want. Go to the size over life and select this one just round the edge out by drawing it okay and then just freaking click the smooth button like you're having a seizure and just uh wait for that to load and make it smooth like that okay and then it'll look a little different like this and that's good that's what we want you know um we can collapse particles um go to the physics and um, there's two ways you could do this you can go to the physics and turn the gravity to about like Negative, say, 450, right? That's 4,050. 450. And then that would make it go up and kind of look like fire. And then we can go into the emitter and um, we can go to the Y rotation, make it about 180 degrees. Now it's going to be going straight up. And if you didn't have any gravity on, when you change all these rotations, it would make it go either direction you want it. But since we want it like fire, we're going to have the gravity up. But, um, it's your choice. So we're gonna go about the starting of the frame. Uh at zero zero zero. Uh keyframe the particles per second by hitting up this stopwatch. Sorry. Um and also keyframe the position X, Y and all three X, Y, and Z rotations. And then we're gonna select this layer and hit U. We're gonna go with the particles per second and make it zero. Uh go to about one second into the timeline. Uh page up and down to Get it perfect. Doesn't really matter though. It's just when you want to start it. And um, we're going to turn this up to about maybe 510. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's not. And then we're going to go to one layer back, or one frame back, sorry, page up, and um, select it to zero. So now the particles don't start till exactly one second. If we go to frame four, we'll see one comes up. So if they start at one second, at exactly two seconds, 510 particles will have been emit emitted into the air. So, now that you know that, uh, I'm actually going to bring the particles down a little bit. Not that much. Maybe 410. You know, just want to be reasonable here, guys. Um <clears throat> So that's a little looking better. And this is all preference. I mean, you can do how many you want, but make sure you're filling this in, okay? So then, um, like I said, when you change these rotations, it's going to change it dr drastically. So if you change this to 360 degrees, it should be going maybe down. Once again, since we have the gravity going negative, it's going up no matter what we do, really. So... All in all, it's not going to be that much of a difference. So if we just change X, Z, it's not going to do much because the gravity. So um, next what we're going to do, if we go to a little before the frame, we will uh, select the position X, Y. Um, let's hit this. And if we move the center thing, that's position X, Y. If we change over here, we go a little forward, we see... That's where our particles are being emitted. So, knowing that, we can change it over here and it'll look as the particles are shifting. Because that's exactly what they're doing. So just go around through the timeline. Uh, have fun. Put it wherever you, well, please. But, uh, you know, if you didn't have uh, the gravity, it'd be shifting like crazy and... So, I mean, I'm just going to keep the gravity up for the sake of the tutorial and keep it simple, but if you guys want to do some crazy stuff, I would turn off the gravity and change all these rotations, and that would, you know, mess with uh, what the particles look like and the fire and 
Yeah, so then for this, I'm just going to go back to the center now. Okay. And then um, about 9-11, that's fine. Uh, oh, that's creepy, 9-11. We're just going to select the particles per second. Hit that diamond right here. Go to the next frame and turn them to zero. So then um, our particles will stop emitting at that point in time. And they'll just float up in the air. Hopefully that's what happens. You know, because if that's not what... Let's uh, zoom in. Uh, make that a little before. Over here. Okay, now they're on top of each other. But, um, yeah. So, they'll stop emitting. Okay, now they're not. So, I screwed up. Just one second. If I could try to fix this. Okay, right there. There we go. So now, they have stopped emitting. They're going gone. So then before that ends, you can't see any particles. So that's what we want. We'll go into here, see how it's looking. Okay, that's it. So, we'll collapse this now. We're done with that. Um, so we're going to collapse the particles as well. So it's looking pretty cool. It looks kind of like the smoke monster from Lost. <gasps> yeah. I just gave you... Smoke tutorial now, and we're now we're gonna turn into fire. So that's two tutorials in one. That's pretty sweet, guys. So I'm gonna go to layer, new, solid, control Y on your keyboard, make a comp size. We're gonna call this layer. Aren't we creative? Hit OK. And then your screen's just gonna turn white, and you're gonna be mad at me. Like I did all this for a white screen, pretty much. So we're gonna go to the layer, hit effect. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go to Noise and grain, fractal noise. Not fractal noise, it's fractal noise, guys. I get so mad when people say that. I'm like, no. I look at the spelling over and over. It's fractal, not fractal. Maybe it is fractal, I don't know. But, um, so we see all this, and it looks pretty sweet. But we're going to change it from the fractal type from basic to dynamic twist. Okay? Then you're going to take the complexity and just turn it up to about, like, I don't know why we're, it's not, you're not going to see much of a difference, but turn it up to uh, like 8.7, that's what I'm doing. So it'll just make it a little more complex, hence complexity. Then, we're just going to turn, or turn the contrast up to like, just keep dragging right, just like literally into the thousands, maybe 900 should be good, so 937, fine. And that really separates the black and white, which is what we want. Because everything black is going to be transparent. Everything white is going to be visible. So we're going to turn the brightness to about like 41. And it's just going to bring a little more white into there. And maybe actually more. Because we want more white than there is black. But uh, we want some spots where there's black. So that's looking pretty good. If we go to the starting of the frame. Keyframe the evolution. Bring this to a random number in the starting, go to the end, and um, then turn it to about like 30, no, 7, I like 7, so 37, so that means it's going to go around 37 times in the evolution. This is just going to make it evolve and move, and so if we go to the next frame, we'll see that it's completely different, and it's not just still, which is what we want. We want it to change enough, we don't want it to change too much. In a frame where it's completely different, we want it to change where it doesn't almost completely different, but it's still from the same picture. So it's good. Now, you probably didn't understand what I said, but that's fine. Uh, collapse this, and then we'll go to layer. Uh, hit the toggle switches. Make sure you have this, and then we'll select the trap code layer. Hit from none to luma mats. Okay, so now this is going to turn our smoke, and like I said, everything black is transparent now. So if we go a little earlier in the timeline, as you can see, the white, we're going to see the smoke and stuff. I'm just calling this smoke, that's our layer. And then the black, you're not going to see it. So now we're going to start making this fiery.